you are gonna get some grounding. Run. Time to ground you both. Galu, are you okay? Uh, I feel very hurt. Just get up Galu, you'll feel alright. Now let's go. Come on Galu, we're almost there. Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy, I'll help you out. No! You are not allowed to save Isis from falling in a cliff. But he is not Isis, he is. Shut up! And I swear to God if you help this idiot, I will ground you for eternity. Grounded or ungrounded, your choice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what Gaelic, I think this should be it. What do you mean? Running from him isn't gonna be enough. I think it is time that we should stand up to him even if we have to kill him. Mr. Happy. It's too late for me, Kalu. No, it's not. I can find an ambulance too. No. Galu, look. I know you were mad at me for that thing. I however am not anywhere guilty. But look, you easily react to those kind of things. And I know the reason why, but I cannot say. You have to watch the tape, in order to fully understand. It's the only way to protect you from your destiny. Mr. Happy, please. So are you gonna keep playing cops and robbers? You know what dad, bring it on. Time to go potty you bastard. Say all you want Kalu.
that's for torturing me in foster care. Smoke weed every day. Hello, welcome to Camp Fuck. <laughs> What the actual fuck is going on right now? Jesus, well, at least I didn't get peed in the face. Well Boris, I guess it is time I break your new grill. Oh and how are you gonna do that? Oh you'll see, it's going to be the humanest bloody act of destruction you will ever see in your entire life. Really, just touching it? Do you have any idea of how cringeworthy it is to even look at this? What? My friend Dora does that to things she breaks all the time. That's it Galu, today is punishment day, first punishment, throwing you. Next punishment, kicking you. Next punishment, punching you really hard. Next punishment, laser. Ah, uh, help. I can't see. And now, for your final punishment, death. Listen to all the people of America, I know that you had been scared, fearing the ultimate person for the skill of grounding, but here's the one thing that you all need to do, get the fuck over this bullshit, this whole grounding conspiracy is a bunch of cancer, to hell with whoever that guy is, we need to form up, cooperate, and prove our country strong enough to defeat anything, I mean think about Adolf Hitler, so now, who's with me? That little kid is right. Come on guys, join the fight. We need more weapons. You know what? I had it with this bullshit. I'm just gonna end this fight right now. We are ungrounded for life. Goodbye, Dad. Fuck off, bitch.
It has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. I, I really don't know what to do. Now that I am blinded, I will never see the potentials inside this tape. Oh well, I guess I would have to hear it instead. Does anybody have a VCR? Okay, is this thing on? Alright. Kalu, if you're watching this, that means I had sent you to Mr. Happy to help you continue with your life. And that, well, well, I'll get to that later. Look, I've been going through terrible things with my life, and I can't be with you anymore. I had sent you with your mother if you are with her. But if you are with me, well, that's very unfortunate. I never wanted to hurt you, but the demons inside me are hard for me to prevent that from happening. I don't want our family to continue a generation of evil people, since you also have demons yourself. But listen, there's still a way for you to prevent this from happening. With the help of Mr. Happy, I'm sure he would help you with this. And don't worry, he's a really nice guy. I'm pretty sure he will provide anything for you as you meet him. But there are two choices to keep your demons to take over. 1. Take as much therapy with Mr. Happy and staying away from me as much as you can. 2. Get your eyeballs cut off. The demons wouldn't be able to handle the body without eyesight. Oh yeah, and one more message. If I was very mean to you all these years if I kept you, I want you to know that wasn't me, the dad you would meet is officially gone. But don't forget this, the real father of yours still loves you, and he really wants you to be safe. Farewell son. Hello, does anybody want Boris for dinner?